Hey guys, in the video I have for you today is actually a video I shot the other day, and it is a callback of sorts. It's actually a completely different problem. It had nothing to do with why I was there before, but today I've spent most of my time working on this little wooden shelf. I am by no means a carpenter, and if you look closely, none of that is level but i happen to be proud of that little piece of work um i felt like i did a good job what do y'all think stay tuned for the video here it comes knock knock Hey, uh -oh. you having trouble with this air condition? Yes, yes. It is so hot in here. What happened? It was working I, good, it wasn't it? It was working good yesterday. It, it seemed like you, that bear said no bear. Yeah, the bear was dead. So I took it, changed the battery. You changed the battery. Yeah, and it, was, and it still didn't kick back up. Let me see. It says fan on, cool. Cool on, put that thing on auto. All right, I'm gonna check it outside, okay? Okay. Y'all might remember this one. I gave it a thorough cleaning and replaced the blower motor. Right now, I do not hear the compressor running. trying to wait and see if I hear that death buzz. <laughs> Never heard the death buzz, but let's some um, Let's check this capacitor real quick. First, I'm gonna make sure I don't trust that disconnect. Sometimes those disconnects can kill one leg. And that'll fool you into thinking there's no power, but. All right, no power. <laughs> oh, did y'all see that? I don't know if the camera caught it, but that sparked. Let's just take everything off. Purple goes to Herm. A 50 and 3. Now I know I'm not going to have that. That's nice and tight. Alright, that is my C. C and Herm. I'm reading 44. That's 44 microfarads. That's enough to get this compressor to start. And I'm reading 3. That is low, yes. 
but it should be enough to start that compressor put this stuff down here because I'm fixing to open this up Look at that. <clears throat> I got to get a good picture of that. oxidized enough for me to get a term lock for that instead of trying to put another end on that because it'll burn again. This is a thin little wire. Because it's just for the capacitor. I'm going to wire nut it. This, I had to find an Allen screw that would fit it, and it happened to be a metric number and Put it this way, my first set of Allen wrenches, I couldn't find anything to fit it. I've got a socket set that has Allen wrenches in it and um, that's what I ended up using or having to go to. Normally these have a Phillips. Food that compressor is hot.
y'all forgive me this is just not a good angle to to film this Guys, we are back, and I have another capacitor. I knew I wasn't gonna have a 50 and three. I don't carry any threes. I mean, I've got individual threes, and United Refrigeration was right down the road. I'm hooking up this capacitor. I'm gonna end up strapping it right here. Ooh, that is loose. Y'all see how loose that is? When I squeeze these, I squeeze them on the back side. Still not tight enough. There we go, that's good. Alright, let's um Let's get a strap and strap that on and this thing's gonna be ready to go. And hopefully that compressor will be cooled off. All right, let's turn it back on and see if a compressor comes on. It did. I want to check if I can check the amp draw on that compressor. Compressor 15 RLA, so we're doing good. Because I was just out here doing the cleaning and checking pressures and everything, I'm not gonna check pressures right now. And I'm not going to be able to charge labor because it's within 30 days. But with this customer, I make it up because he gives me a lot of business. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, have a like and subscribe. Comment below, you know, all the good stuff that help out the algorithm and I'll catch you on the next one.